Hi everybody, welcome to this July update and it's a new one for the channel and it's a new direction for the channel. Uh, up until now uh, it's been very much um, lots of small projects, layouts, uh, sort of in shoe boxes, that sort of thing, uh, a few exhibition videos, a couple of how-to's. Um, well it's time to start another big project, for me anyway. Uh, technically a micro, uh, but it's not, uh, not really. Um, so. I'm just going to turn this around now, let you have a look at it, and we'll see what's uh, to come. So, here we go. Here we are. Uh, you're looking at something that I've had in my possession now for a very long time. Uh, and it's not actually been on a layout for nearly 10 years uh, you know, active. Uh, it was last on a layout uh, proper about four years ago uh, on the Ashby GC layout. Uh, and this is, uh, as soon as you may recognise, uh, Ratio Wills uh, Craftsman Kit uh, that has been converted somewhat. Uh, it was actually built by my uh, my late grandfather, Ernie Cave. Uh, a few uh, of the old boys might remember him from Toten. Um, and it's uh, one of the things that he put together. Um, it's loosely based on a great central railway design. And... Uh, after sort of revisiting this one, I've decided I'm going to refurb it, recondition it, and we're going to build a new layout for it. So let's have a look at this building and see what's going to happen next. First things first, as some of you may have just spotted, uh, the internal walls have already been removed by myself. Uh, it's made out of cardboard, and looking at the old school technology here, these are grain of wheat bulbs, and there's some uh, more bulbs and bits here, with wire power them. All of that will be replaced now with LEDs. Uh, I'm going to keep the wall actually. Maybe add a little bit more detail to it but uh, not much more required really. Uh, most of this is scratch built or kit bashed. Uh, and so that just basically goes inside the shed and separates off the offices and uh, the workshops uh, from where the locos are. So I'll uh, turn the building over now and we'll have a look inside. So this is the inside as you can see from where the uh, scarring is here with the glue. Along this line here is obviously where that wall has come from. So, and so we've got a little bit of detail that's pre-fitted back in the day. I'll uh, come round to the side here and you can see there's a few bits been done inside. The uh, doorway has a post which I need to obviously again recondition. That goes here. Uh, all the lighting is to be redone and I'm also looking at putting in proper vents down here, which it would have, uh, and some other bits as well, working from photographs uh, based on the shed that was at Leicester. So Leicester MPD will be the main prototype for this one. So let's have a look at the outside and some of the lighting that's got to be adjusted. So from the outside, um, it's been quite well put together. I am biased, but I don't care. Um, uh, as you can see, there's a few bits need some adjustment. There's a, a chimney pot, something gone missing. Uh, a few of the tops of these vents have been damaged over time. They'll have to be repaired, replaced. Uh, and the brickwork, it's not a bad wash for the initial look. But uh, I've decided to go a little bit further with it, working from photographs. I'll do this on one hand now, it's going to be interesting. Here we go, Eey, like that look. Uh, and take it a bit further so it comes more like that. Now this will actually be the side uh, that will be more viewed from uh, on the layout. So do a bit more work on this side, but I'm plenty around the whole shed. Obviously things like drain pipe here to repair. Uh, these lamps were scratch built. And you can see sadly over time with age that they've, uh, they've dried out, cracked and damaged. Another one on the back of the shed here. That will be removed uh, and replaced and on the front of the shed itself here we go um, there's a few bits to look at here 
some steps go underneath here uh, clean up the windows a little bit and uh, obviously replace all the doors they're actually in a box not far from me uh, the clock which if I move here you might see changes time I hope it'll pick us up on camera I'll move the lamp a minute uh, actually came out of a Christmas cracker it was on a little plastic ring and a cracker there we go uh, and at different angles it shows different times so we thought that was rather clever uh, and so that was fitted out as a depot clock never seen one since uh, no idea where to get them from so please don't ask because I'm afraid I can't tell you but uh, yeah when it comes to Christmas time folks if you get anything like that in your Christmas crackers well worth getting hold of one of them there you go so there's the inside of the shed again showing some of the detail parts and bits that are in there and now we're going to have a look at the board it's going to sit on so here I am up in the roof uh, the layout box which some of you may recognize from a couple of years ago when I'd actually planned to convert it into uh, ironically a great central uh, themed shunting layout based on Vic Berry's yard you'll see some of the marking out from the original plans on there uh, this is going to be what houses this depot uh, so here's the base it's going to come on to. You can see here obviously these support pillars for inside. Uh, all the pits are built out of the timber. And the rails all the inside. Try and get this down so you can see it. There you go. Look. And this rail is going to be removed and replaced with something finer. So either code uh, 55, maybe some bullhead rail, maybe hand built, not decided yet. We'll see. Uh, over here you can see the old bit for the wiring for lights and whatnot. This will be kept but obviously go to LEDs and over here is all the wires for the isolators. Now, I believe from memory this is actually isolated into six sections internally. So there's room for one, two, three locos uh, and back. The shed only comes to here. So this here is outside. On the outside of the shed there'll be a water column. Uh, and I've also got to put some yard lamps down here. Uh, the front of this box is going to come short to about here. Uh, and the idea is that well, it's going to be some sort of sector plate or something here. So the return rows around the back come up the back of the shed here. Where you'll have uh, lifting equipment uh, for you know removal of bogies and bits, lifting locos up and doing bits like that. So we'll, uh, we'll pop back downstairs now, have a look at some of the little detail parts um, and see what else there is to say. So, back in the office and uh, I'm just going to come up on the desk up here, look. Here's something we purchased earlier. This is a Great Central water column. There we go. I uh, found this item on eBay. thought it was rather nice. Just what I need. So I bought it. Uh, probably pay a bit more than I should have done, but uh, I've not seen one since. I believe it to be a kit, but I've no idea where it's from. Uh, but rather happy with that because it's dead right for the prototype. So uh, yeah, that's going to go obviously in front of the shed, and uh, and hopefully look about right. So that's that. And this is an old Western print. Um, so you may notice I've got a few of these uh, in the office. Um, with a little bit of inspiration. I'm not actually sure which shed interior that's supposed to be. But it uh, certainly gives the atmosphere and uh, shows a bit of detail for what we're going to work towards and what hopefully the model's going to look like when it's done. So what's it going to be called, I hear you all say? Well, obviously, I'm not going to call it Leicester. Uh, that would be silly. Um, I was playing around the other night with some information on the internet, uh, looking at depot numbers and ideas like that. Um, if it was Midland Region, which obviously Great Central came under eventually, it could be 27L. But there weren't many sheds that got an L code. Uh, so I thought well, that sounds a little bit obscure, a bit too, too, too low class, really, whatever, even though it's only a two-row shed. Um, so if I went back to the Leicestershire area, uh, mainly Colic, because I'm in Kirkby, near Mansfield, so it's local to me. Um, it would be Code 38, Eastern Region, 
uh, I believe that is still. Uh, and so I had down the list, and 38F never existed. Then you got as far as 38E. So this will be 38F. Kirk could be in Ashfield, I think. Um, the actual location in real life where Leicester Shed was is now um, Watson uh, Road, I think it is. Uh, Watkin Road, sorry, that's it. Watkin after Shredwood Watkin on Great Central Railway. Um, but uh, I didn't fancy doing a fictional village or a fictional town called Watkin. So we'll just call it 38F and we'll put it somewhere in the uh, in the Mansfield Annesley area. So uh, that's that. So that's about it then guys for this one. Uh, obviously thanks for watching. I uh, hope you sort of take a bit of interest in this layout. Um, something different. Obviously the channel name will remain James DEMU uh, after the society group that I'm a part of. Um, so yeah, keep watching this space for updates and progress and uh, see you soon. Bye for now. Right, don't go yet. Uh, just remembered, very nearly forgot. Uh, big shout out to my mate Neil Favell. Uh, go and check out his channel. Obviously link in the corner as, uh, as always. Uh, he's got some wonderful stuff. His, uh, his model railway has just had the uh, last of the track work laid and his wiring's uh, about done now I believe. Uh, he's out with his camera as well in the sunshine checking out trains on the network so he's got some really good stuff good variety uh, he's a good mate tram driver as well so he's uh, he's in the industry in its own way uh, no tram videos yet though Neil come on catch up mate uh, yeah look thank me for that um, so yeah go and have a look at his layout go and look at his channel give him a subscribe give him a thumbs up give him some comments uh, it's well worth looking at and uh, on that bombshell I'll leave you to it guys thanks for watching see you all soon bye for now